Okay. So you want to make a fresh start. You've got the New Beginnings card over here and this baby crawling. Uh, but it might mean that you have to start right from the bottom again and work your way up to the top. Uh, so you do need to think very carefully before you start, uh, you know, something brand new. Whatever you're doing right now, you're working pretty hard. You've got your head down and you're working very, very hard. Maybe very, very long hours. There might be a lot of responsibilities that you're taking. Uh, this man's panning for gold in the sun. So it looks like, you know, you are working late, long hours and working very, very hard. You've got somebody that is very supportive of you and uh, somebody that is giving you some advice. You've got that happiness card over here. Uh, and it's that person is giving you advice on how to actually get over difficult situations. You can see there's a cloud over there and this person's being very, very supportive of you. A very loyal person. In the past, there seems like there's an ending of a situation uh, that happened. So maybe you changed jobs and you've had to move on. And you've been, uh, you know, you've got the strength card over here. So you've been overcoming a lot of obstacles. Uh, but you have been uh, managing to do that um, but it's taken a lot out of you, so uh, you you uh, you know battling maybe giants, so battling big things, battling uh, you know having to deal with big problems really, and trying to sort that out. Now you've got the look, stop, look, and listen card over here, and that's sitting next to the new beginnings card. And this says if you want to make that new leap, you know, want to make that leap of faith, or you want to go forward, because this man's at the edge of a cliff, and he needs to take that jump. You need to stop, look, and listen. So this means that, uh, you know, consider all your options first before you actually make that leap of faith. You need to actually look at all the facts, look at what is coming in the future for you. So uh, make plans for the future. Be very, very practical about how you deal with the situation. And you need to get some advice as well. So it's important that you listen to some kind of advice uh, that will be coming in for you. Uh, if you don't, you know, you could end up having news that is not very, very satisfactory. There's the bad news card over here. So maybe, uh, you know, working towards things that may not actually work out. So be very, very cautious before you cut your ties and move on. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm using the zombie tarot and um, I have shuffled this deck. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, you've got the King of Wands over here. So this could be an offer that's coming in, or maybe you're dealing with somebody who is in authority. Uh, it could be a fire sign person. Um, let's get that out. Uh, it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person. But usually the King of Wands is somebody who has been through a lot. You can see he's on the top of things. Uh, he's a very proactive person, very, very um, much in charge. Um, somebody who takes control, very innovative person. So this could be maybe your boss that you're dealing with. And, um, um, you know, they are um, featuring quite prominently in your life right now, so controlling the situation. So let's see what's going on with them uh, in your arena. So you've got the Four of Wands over here and the Queen of Swords. So it looks like maybe this person may be making some kind of offer to you here with this... Uh, but at the bottom of the deck over here, you've got the tower here. So it might be that you were dealing with this person and they caused a lot of problems because beneath that card, beneath the King of Wands, it's the, uh, the tower card. So you could be dealing with somebody uh, that caused a lot of uh, problems for you. They might be giving you a hard time uh, wherever you're working. Uh, they might be bullying you as well and not even listening to whatever problems you are going through. They've caused a lot of disruption in your life. So there's been some kind of uh, issue that you've had to deal with with these people and it looks like there may be a lot of people even um, against you uh, wherever you're working at this moment uh, you can see this person's in this office building with all these well yeah, zombies around him so it's about you know and, and it's a tower so whatever's happening is happening within your workplace over here and this man or this person this king of wands might be somebody that may be instigating things or somebody that you're dealing with in this difficult situation so what you wanted was, you know, to uh, you are going to be victorious because the Four of Wands is actually having victory in a situation. So whatever uh, problems you have been facing uh, in this particular situation, it looks like it will settle down and reestablish itself. You know, stability will reestablish itself. 
itself. There will be support. The Four of Wands gives you that support. Uh, and you've got this cake over here. So, you know, whatever problems you're dealing with, it will be, you will be able to overcome it. You need to be very, very determined. Uh, you know, stand up for yourself. You can see this little old lady with a gun in her hand. Uh, so it looks like whatever problem is coming your way, you need to stand up and defend yourself and be very, very uh, single-minded about how you do it and don't let anybody walk all over you. And it looks like that situation might actually resolve itself, whatever problems you are facing at this particular moment. So you've got in the past the Eight of Wands over here. So you've been pretty busy. There's been a lot of communication that's been going on in the last year, working with a lot of people, communicating with a lot of people, collaborating with a lot of people. And things have been moving pretty fast. You might be getting a lot of news or dealing with a lot of information, really. You might have also been doing a lot of travel as well with that Eight of Wands. Uh, now you've got the, the Wheel of Fortune uh, in the last few months. <coughs> so things have been changing quite a bit where you're working at. You might be feeling a little victimized because you can see this middle, this woman's in the middle of this bull's eye here with all these knives coming at her. So you might be feeling that people are having a go at you or you're being victimized in that particular situation. And it might be this particular person here, this king of wands that is causing all the problems over here, somebody in authority that has caused a tower moment for you to happen. But things have definitely been building up with this Wheel of Fortune. And things are changing, and these are changes that are something that you can't really control. Um, you know, with that major con over there, it's something that is uh, events that are uh, something that you can't really control. So you've got the Six of Swords. You're trying to move away from all those difficulties and all those problems. And it looks like there's a lot of people around you that appear to be supportive, and they're not. The water seemed calm, but you can see there's a lot of zombies in the water there. So even though, and this woman's got a gun in her hand. So even though you don't um, really want to start conflicts or you don't want to be involved in conflicts, it seems that there's, despite that, you're having to defend yourself because all these people are throwing knives at you, it seems here. Um, you know, people coming at you for, for, it doesn't seem like there's any particular reason, uh, but it looks like you're having to defend you, defend yourself. Now, with the Six of Swords is about you wanting to move on, um, you know, away from uh, all this, these problems. And this has been playing on your mind. And you are still very, very defensive over here. You do need to defend yourself with that Queen of Swords over here. There could also be something official uh, that you have to defend yourself against. Um, so there could be some, maybe an official complaint that came in or something that happened uh, that you've needed to defend yourself against. And you just want to move on from it. So going to the future, you've got the Four of Hazards over here. So this is about uh, protecting what you believe you've worked for, protecting your money, protecting your finances as well. This is the Four of Pentacles. Um, so, you know, having to maybe retreating a little bit over there and keeping to yourself, uh, but making sure that you are, um, you know, defending yourself against everybody, uh, but not letting people get too close. So you might need to, uh, you know, maybe keep to yourself, uh, just protect your job. It is something important. Maybe you can't really lose this job because, um, you know, it's going to... Uh, impact on your finances or you can't find something that is better paid so you might have to just keep your head down and keep going over there you know defend yourself but withdraw towards yourself you see this man sitting alone in his basement with all his guns over there and protecting his food so this is whatever this job is it's very very necessary and you know you might have to compromise a little bit in order for you to um you know, keep going in this particular job. You yourself want to actually leave it and walk away. You've got that Eight of Cups energy over there. It seems like there's been a lot of drama that's been going on. If you look closely, you can see there's a whole big cloud and thunder and lightning going on over here, over this company. And this woman has packed her suitcases and she's walking away. So it looks like you do want to leave. This is what you want to do. You want to, uh, you know, just abandon the whole situation and move on because there's so much of things that you have to defend yourself against. Uh, you're waiting for this new job offer to come in and it looks like there might be a new job offer that comes in for you over here with that Ace of Wands, a new project, somebody offering you something better. It might be even something that is, uh, you know, that involves a lot of travel as well uh, with this Ace of Wands. So that may be coming in for you an offer. Maybe you put in some applications. Uh, you're trying to manage your finances or manage your resources as well with that Four of Hazards over there. But it looks like, you know, uh, maybe things have gotten a little out of control and you're planning on just walking away from there. 
So you've got the star card over here. So you're trying to get some advice. There's a lot of, you know, you want that um, merit. You want people to recognize all your hard work and all your efforts as well. So this is what your hope is. Uh, your hope is hope, really. The, the star card is a card about hope. It's also a card about getting recognition and, you know, uh, being guided to do the right thing or going down the right path. It looks like that's what you're focusing on, trying to get recognition for your efforts. Now, going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Lover's card, the Five of Swords, and the Temperance card. So the Lover's card is having to make a big decision over here about what you want to do next, what is going to be the best thing for you. So it's a big decision that you have to make, and it's going to be something life-changing. The Lover's card usually brings about big changes that last for quite a while. Uh, so make sure that you're looking very carefully at all the facts, making sure that you are getting into the right post uh, if you decide to leave this particular job. There's a lot of conflict around you wherever you're working at, so you're still dealing with a lot of conflict uh, with that five of swords. Uh, you can see there's a power struggle going on over there, and maybe a lot of people, uh, you know, um, against you as well. There's a lot of hands of there reaching out, so a lot of people putting a lot of spanners in the works, really, but a lot of conflict. There might be a lot of uh, vindictive behavior, nasty things being said as well. So things have gotten a little out of hand over there, and um, you've got the temperance card over here. You need to get some good advice about what to do. The temperance card says, you know, find that balance, find something uh, that you can do that's going to bring you some healing. And maybe, you know, go into some meditation as well to get that stress uh, uh, relief as well. But with the temperance card, people are going to be giving you some proper uh, advice or you have to go and seek some advice as to what to do next in this particular situation. J don't jump into things, uh, but it looks like you've made up your mind. You are planning on leaving it uh, because, you know... There's too many people against you and you're having to protect yourself. And maybe you're also feeling very, very isolated as well from the rest of the crowd. That Queen of Swords says you're very determined. Maybe you're planning on even breaking contracts with these people uh, that you're working with. Um, but it looks like it may blow over with that Four of Wands. You might be victorious in that particular situation. But it looks like, you know, even if you win this particular battle, there seems to still be that underlying conflict that is coming in. And maybe this is the reason why you're actually planning on leaving. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, fairy tarot. And this is for the oracle read. So the high priestess um, is showing trusting your intuition, uh, careful reflection before taking action, insights that come through meditation. So you really do have to do some research before you decide to take that leap of faith and move forward with that High Priestess card. Things have not been revealed to you, and you have to do some research as well before you actually do things. Um, you know, make sure you are working independently of everybody else. Nobody is really supporting you. You are ha having to turn to yourself for the answers. But there are things that are hidden from you. There are things that are not come to light yet. Maybe you have to wait for those things to come to light, or you have to go and do some research, ask people the right questions uh, to find out what information uh, or what being kept from you really you've got the prince of spring over here so immediate action a challenge you can successfully manage a passionate relationship so there might be some travel that comes in with this prince of spring which is the prince of rods uh, but also there could be something that you need to act on pretty quickly as well and it might involve something official because you've got that prince of winter over here and it says seek out an intellectual solution to your problem there is a need to act quickly and decisively so both these cards implying that there is something that's going to come in, some kind of challenge that's going to mean that you're going to have to think on your feet and make decisions very, very quickly. Maybe there'll be that offer that comes in pretty quickly and you're going to have to make uh, that decision pretty fast uh, to move on to something new. So whatever offer comes in, maybe because, you know, the situation seems to be something that you don't want to deal with anymore. There's too much of conflict. You need, you want to get away from all that conflict. It seems like maybe that decision will come in very quickly. The Prince of Winter uh, may also uh, indicate that there will be new documents or new official things that you will be signing. So new documents, make sure you're reading fine print very, very carefully. But something that you're going to have to make a decision very quickly on, something official. The Prince of Spring implies that, you know, you might need to travel or, or relocate or change your jobs. So you might be getting a new job offer that comes in. Wands, the Ace of Wands, whatever this new job offer is, not is not local to you. It's something that you have to move to actually um, you know, go and work there. So it's making a fresh start somewhere else. And you have to make that decision pretty quickly. Make sure you are reviewing all the facts before you actually do it with that prince, high priestess. And, you know, follow your instincts, really. You do know what you want. 
uh, do things for your best interests rather. So some big decision coming in, uh, challenges that you're still facing, but there's a big decision that's coming in for you, especially even with that lover's card. So making that choice about moving on and getting away from all that conflict um, and maybe signing new documents, um, starting a new job somewhere else. Uh, and this might mean that you have to travel to actually do it or relocate to actually do it. Maybe this new job that you're taking also involves a lot of travel as well. So that could be coming in for you. So I hope that this reading resonates. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And best of luck. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.